All right. As always, my proxy using a lot of bubble wrap. So just to take this out of the way, we have a board that I, I know my friends love, <laughs> which is the basic IO 60% hot swap. And people told me that this is a very bad board. I hear that the HG boards are great value. Yeah, they were very inexpensive. I can look it up to see how much I paid, but it wasn't a lot. So this is supposed to be a Bluetooth uh, hot swap 60%, but I only heard bad things about it. Hey, review for you, the tube. How are you, man? Good to have you here. Only hear you your comments, on, only see your comments on YouTube usually. Did you... Did I tell you wow you were right about the honey bar? It sounds so good. You got one? Yeah, I, I really love the how the honey bar sounds. Yeah, check it out. So I got the red kit. And I must say it really does look amazing. Oh yeah, right. I was gonna say check how much this was. HJCP keyboard. No, not HB, HJ. So yeah, it was $110. CP has no arrows? What you're talking about? It does. I think it I think the the difference is around here. It's something here. And this one has the F13 as well. Yeah, this was an insane price in my opinion. So the, the value on the HJCP comes from the fact that only the top is aluminum. <clears throat> this one, right? Yeah, that's, that's what I thought. I think this one. You don't have this row here. Oh, my camera died again. Mother. Hold on. So check this out. So the top is aluminum, anodized aluminum, and then it has a few acrylic layers. I believe it's acrylic or is it polycarbonate? Let me double check. Yes, it is acrylic, just confirmed. And then you have those three layers of acrylic. Let me zoom out. So you have those three layers here and then this kind of feet and then HJCP engraved on the bottom there. Yeah, man, I think this is great, great value. And I don't have that many red boards. I may have one or two red boards. So when I saw that red was an option, I jumped at it. The only thing that I don't love is the PCB. I believe it is. Is this QMK? Hold on. Maybe people already converted this to QMK. So how do, do you know if the no? Yeah, I think I'm stuck with this even without QMK. So I never had. Did I have any? I think the yeah. I was gonna say that I ne never had those PCBs that you can snap parts of, but I think that Duck um, or Orion came with those. Don't remember. Yeah, 
Is it even possible to put QMK here? Let me see what the processor is. No, it doesn't look like this is an ATML. See if I can't figure out. No, I can't read it. Yeah, from what I'm seeing here, I don't think it's possible. But again, for a layout like this, you don't really need QMK, right? I think for 60%, it's very important. But for a layout like this, it's not the end of the world if you don't have it. Yeah, I don't think it's it's STM either. At least I can recognize it. Yeah, no, it isn't STM either. And it's also USB mini. McMerlin has talking about the tool you built to help with the matrix. Yeah, I know. I know he told me. And I was there when we raided him, when he was talking about it. Wow, talking about screws. Look at the how many screws we have on this board. 12. This must be a record. That's a good point with so many dedicated kids. Yeah, that's that's what I think, Ryan. So I don't mind not having, per, you know, QMK on a large keyboard. Usually I don't remap a lot of stuff. The only thing that I usually do is remapping the Windows and Alt keys for the Mac. But again, Mac has this great utility called, called, <laughs> I forgot the name carabiner that allows you to do almost everything that QMK can do. I have never built one of those, but I think it should sound really good from this combo, right? They are not available. Hey, Rabbit Sensei. No, this is not the Cypher yet because I did join the Cypher. This is HB, HJCP. It's a low cost keyboard from TX Keyboards. They ran it by in December, yeah. Uh, am I muted? I am still seeing my sound going through. Oh, yeah, that's what I thought, because usually when I'm not muted, I can see that my voice doesn't go through. I have this graph right in front of me. So, yeah, it's three layers, three acrylic layers, and then this anodized aluminum top, which with this very unique um, F key, uh, F key rolls. Afro. So let's see how a switch sits here. Uh, where is my... Trying for a Valorant code, Rabbit Sensei. Oh, so that, that se it seems like that's the new fever, right? And you know what? They did some cutouts. And this is amazing because usually thick boards like this, especially in acrylic, the switches are always loose, but they figured out a way to cut the acrylic. Let me show you if I can give you. Can you guys see those cutouts there? I don't know if that's the best angle. Maybe, hold on. Yeah, 
there. Can you see the cutouts that they made for the for the switches to grab to? That's really amazing. I think it's the first time that I see this. And I must tell you, Brian, um, it's really top notch. From from those cutouts, you can see, like the cuts are super super clean. I'm looking forward to bid this actually. I was poking fun to get a Valorant code. You have to watch streams and people mute their tabs and forget to unmute them. <laughs> so the thing the streamer is muted when it's actually their tab. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. I, I have a few people in my Discord that got, got in. And that's what they told me, that you have to sit in and watch those streams a lot to get a code. But yeah, answering your question again, Brian, I think the quality is really top-notch. And I think it looks really unique. And ZayB015, how are you? Thanks for joining, man. So there you go. We're going to be, you know, building this. It's not going to be my next one because I think my next one is going to be the LSJ Ares um, that I have been pushing out for quite some time. But I think after that, we're going to build this keyboard. I'm really looking forward to do that. It looks like an amazing board to build. It's going to take a while to loop all those, those switches, but I mean, and I, for the memes, I should do, sorry for that. I should do red inks, right? On this board. <laughs> Yeah, I'm really looking. I'm really looking forward for the LSJ. Are you joining Rukia R2? I already did, but I mostly did because of that carbon and stainless steel option. I think that was pretty unique, so I did join that limited edition thingy. Are you joining it, Upmet? I'm pretty hyped for this, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to join. Why is that? Are you trying to sell boards that didn't sell to buy that? What is the limitation? Because I saw that you were selling stuff. That's why I'm asking. Got link for Rukia? Amit, can you help me here? Can you get us a link for the Rukia? If you can, of course. So yeah, um, I really think the quality is really nice and um, the acrylic is frosted on the bottom. So I think it's going to have a, also, also a great diffusion of light. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to build this. Oh, we won't have diffusion of light because you know what? There is no underglow. So there's that. Oh no, hold on. Yes, there is. Look at this. This is pretty nice. Check it out. This is very different from what we're used to. Can you guys see the LEDs? Yeah, I was I was about to say it doesn't have, but can you see? They have LEDs that are directed to the outer layer, so it's it's meant to be used with underglow. So you have some here, some here, more here. So that's going to be uh, very interesting. You know what? Let's plug it in. Let me get a USB mini cable. And just, uh, where's my USB? I just unplugged it. Where did I put it? I am always amazed at the capacity that I have to lose things that I just had in my hand. So let me grab another one. Let 
What boards are you trying to sell? Admit? I sold everything already, actually. Oh, okay. I only have one board with me and I'm waiting for my Singa. Okay, I see. Did you already unbox the Artisan's X, 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 SXVE? I did not. I'm saving that for the last because I know a lot of people don't like or don't care about Artisan's, so I'm leaving it for last. And I think this cable is bad, now that I think of it. Hold on, let me grab another one. One saved game, how are you? Yeah, I am a fan as well. Check it out. I really like Necro, all in all. Let's see if we get some underglow now. There we go. So you see, those LEDs, they diffuse to the side. How crazy is that? So I think it's gonna be crazy with the with the acrylic on the bottom. Hey, ungodly design is here. Que pasa? We should do a dual build stream. Oh man, I am always down, top uh, Brian. Just hit me up when uh, if you're doing something this weekend or throughout this week. Just email, just uh, ping me on Discord. Let's do that. I'm gonna save something really nice to so we can build it together. Let's do it. Yes, let me do that. Zaid, let's mock it on the case. It's just two, 12 screws, right? So. <laughs> And we should also download the software. Someone linked it to me, but I already lost it. Let's see, yeah. I was, I was trying to avoid it because of the million screws, but since someone suggested, I couldn't say no. A dual build stream would certainly be interesting to watch. You know what? I already did one in my channel a long time ago with Arctic Fox. So really looking forward for another one. But the one that I did with Arctic Fox, now that I remember, it wasn't over the internet. It was... It was he was actually here for the meetup that I did in my, at my place. So yeah, I think I never did a dual build. Oh, maybe I did one with that encryption. Let's see. There we go. So let me get a few switches. So we can hold this in place. My bad, not your bad, you're good. <laughs> I wanted to do it. You have a reason to get the software now, yes. Those bad switches are coming in handy now. Let's see if this is enough.
Yeah, I think that will do. Is this sandwich mount? No, I think it's it's just soldered to the. Um, yeah, it's sandwich mount. Never mind. It is. It is. Sandwich mounted. Yeah. I almost had a brain fart. Can a brain fart spread the coronavirus? <laughs> I'm not kidding here on the television. Someone asks if a regular fart spreads the coronavirus. Hey, Mechanisk is here. How are you? Wait, is this Mechanisk of Klippa fame? <laughs> is it J or Brian? Yes, yes, Klippa. How are you, man? Glad to have you here. Big fan of your stuff. I hear about Series X, right? Type X, I'm sorry. Chair Brian, yes. <laughs> I think I spend more time in streams on this account than Jade does. Yes. That's why every time I assume it's you, Brian. Because I don't think I've ever seen it being Brian. It being Jay. Hey, and Mechanisk is following. Thank you, man. Thank you so much. Hopefully, things are safe over there. You're in the Netherlands, is that correct? I stole the Type X, but I just stole the Ultramarine one. Oh my god. And with the Tier 1 subscription, look at that. Thank you so much, man. Really, really appreciate it. Norway. Okay, sorry for the... I don't know why I thought you were in... Okay, so let me tell you that it's less than impressive. Yeah, it is. Mm, I don't like it. I like the underglow better. Let me show you guys. Not my favorite. What do you guys think? It has so much potential. <laughs> nope. Anticlimax. I mean, it was only 12 screws, right? So. <laughs> it's, yeah, I. It looks like we went back to 9085 or something. I think if we had mechanical keyboards with underglow in 9085, that's how it lo looked like. <laughs> so, yeah. I think we would be better off with. Uh, <laughs> the surprise. Let's download the software. Who knows? Let's see. Um, software. This is all technology from the 80s. It is. I would say, Zaid, that it's a good tease. Like, right? You see the, those LEDs and say, oh man, that makes sense. And then you turn it on and then no. Nope. Uh, Suo TX software. Please download v2.3. If it does not work, try 3.2. Okay. Uh, it's nice that they provide like all this stuff. Do you need to like download everything or just... What? Hold on. Do you need to download the whole folder for this to work? Have they heard about a self-contained 
executable file. It's really possible to use gasket mount on clipping. I've heard commenting about that on Discord. I think you meant you meant mechanist, right? Yeah, I thought so. Can you comment on that mechanist? I have no idea. Guys, you know what? I don't think I'm gonna download this. It's a lot of files. Let's see. Download, direct download. Let's download the zip file and go with that. But I mean. <laughs> are frowned upon in software world. I love them. And I'm a developer. All right, let's see what this crap is about. Yamato Sandesu. I don't know if that's how you say it. Probably not. He's now falling, but thank you so much. Let's see. TX device. Oh, and now... <laughs> Check this out. You download this crap load of stuff, and then there is only one X exe file, right? TX device. Ah, uh, never mind. It was me being stupid and not knowing Windows. I made a fool of myself. I just noticed. So let's see, new folder. Okay, I think I can do right click and extract. Yeah, I prefer it that way. Wait, didn't it download to a file called a folder called TX something? Why doesn't it show? Let's see, where is that? TX device, here it is. More info, run anyways. What's your team viewer password asking for a friend? It's password one, two, three. My friend told me it's very secure if you put the numbers after the password. Before I was using only password, but he said, you wanna make it hacker proof, put one, two, three at the end and then nobody's gonna guess it. So that's what I did. And guess what? I opened the exe file and it doesn't do anything. So do you remember the website said, if that doesn't work, <laughs> download the newer version. So let's try it one more time. And then we can finally do some artisans. What kind of music is this? Sounds like a jungle. Let's see if this one works. Nope. Also doesn't work. All right, that was the attempt of making this software work. So, yep, yeah, never mind. All right, let's move on because, yeah, this software wasn't a good idea. <laughs> 